Good day. It's time to do a CSS battle. What could be simpler? A rectangle? Uh, well, it's a big letter I. Uh, one technique is if uh, <laughs> it, it makes me chuckle. Um, I have heard that people use text. If you use the right font, I mean, uh, there's probably a font that would line that up quite perfectly. Uh, is that a thing? I don't know. For me, though, uh, my way is, for this is probably just two gradients. Uh, I think that's really all it takes. Uh, there's something really nice and elegant about that. Uh, so the first will be this dot. Which is a radial gradient and it's a circle. And it uh, starts there and then is transparent because we've got something else behind it. That's roughly the shape. And then where to put it. So you can do it two ways. You can say at 50% uh, 100 pixels, 100 pixels. 80 pixels, uh, 75 pixels, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, and then uh, it's a little trickier with the contrast. I'm putting this to blank. Uh, 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 so, what I want to do is find the center <clears throat> 80. 80 is the next number, uh, 79. Is it possible that's not a real, totally a circle? There we go. So, 28 pixels is the radius. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, okay. Next, and that is Gwen, Gwen the Goblin on Instagram. Uh, uh, underneath me. Uh, and, and then the other part of this is a, is a conic radius. Oh, haha. <laughs> I got distracted by the dog. So the other way to do this, instead of at 50% uh, 82 pixels, would be to do it, the positioning here. Uh, and in this case, it's 50% uh, 10 pixels, minus 10 pixels. Is that fewer characters? Yeah, it might be, because we get need the space after circle. So maybe this is a little better, uh, but, but not a lot better, right? Uh, eight, seven, six, nine, 68. So that's, uh, yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it. Um, I kind of like the at, but Clearly, that's working, and and the thing you're not seeing is that there's an implicit auto, and there's an implicit uh, which which really is just cover this element. And for in the case of the body, that's for our canvas of 400 by 300, as you can see in the upper corner. Uh, so auto is is equivalent to 100 percent, 100 percent. It's equivalent to a lot of different things, um, but. Uh, it doesn't matter. Next, conic gradient. Um, and that is orange, 75%. And so what, what is that? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't go into the details of some of the numbers that I choose uh, here. But 75%, that's equivalent to 270 degrees. And you can, you can mix and match that. Uh, if you leave off these numbers, then you get, it's going to interpolate the rest of that. So that's the reason for the zero. Um, you could also do 270 degrees and get the same effect. But the shortest is just that zero. So to make this out of that, we have to change some things about it. 
uh, we need to move it into place. So <clears throat> to me, uh, positioning uh, that downward, uh, oh, uh, let's, let's do the ads. So at 10 pixels, 10 pixels. So you see that little little guy in the upper corner? That's 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 where the center is. The center is where that is. So without it, it's there. And with it, it's there. So we do that, uh, and that gives us control over where where it is, uh, where it's going to be. Uh, and that's that's really useful. But that also means that we are obliged to move it over. Uh, and in this case, that's just the x-axis and then down. So if I push it over more, I should be able to get it to line up. And then if I push it up, so those are fun numbers. And then we, by uh, lowering it, uh, so moving it over, 30, 40, 50, 60, 55, is it 56? That's yeah, just guessing those numbers, I'm not. Uh, and that's modifying that conic gradient. Uh, one, one of my plugins is a unit replacement, so if any of these correspond to something a little shorter, that'll dig those up. I usually will not do that before uh, I've already done at least one submission because I like the pixel values. They're easier to reckon with. But in this case, that's fine. Hopefully that's 100%. And we can modify and be done. 641, 100% match. So then we'll do the minify, plonk, and that's minified as much as we can minify, which is great. All done. Uh, Yes, you could do this with two elements. For fun, let's do it with elements. Uh, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling like it's fun. Fun enough to do it twice. So in this case, we have two two little guys here, right? Uh, let's let's narrow this the, each of these elements down <clears throat> so that they are. background is that color so three four five six five actually we, if I was paying attention to the numbers before so the first paragraph tag has a height of 50 uh, no uh, I'm just I'm just gonna spitball it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, six. Six. And then the other one. In this case, I'll uh, order radius. We'll call that an, an R or 50%. And then we unset it. Dash dash R for the second one. Zero. Fine. And then we give that a height. And I think that's all we need. Uh, one, two, two. 
So that's pretty straightforward. We've got two elements and they happen to have the distance between these two elements just happens to be the default margin. So that's a, a little bit of pre-planning on the part of uh, the designers of this puzzle. Let's submit it and see, is that a better score? Well, it's not minified, so it might not be. Uh, it's, it's still a good score, uh, minify. How's that one look? So that's my new high score. So it does like this one better. And if that's the case, then I can do var dash dash h comma, and then shave more points for this height, which will also be uh, a little bit shorter even. No better. Still not too bad, and you get the, the track. So 707. So uh, so the 713 is the best one. Is that right? So my solutions. Let me go back to 713. Load code. No. It, oh yeah. So yeah, that's that's our best score. That's great. Uh, I'll go a little bit long. Uh, one of the things they, I think I saw a note, uh, I got a notification about targets where people were limited. Uh, they couldn't get past 99.9%. If you've watched many of these videos of mine, uh, I always say if anything's got a curve in it, I might not get to 100% uh, match, which is frustrating, but you know, it's a fact of life. You can't win them all. Uh, so let's see if there are any recent, so nothing from November. Um, how about this guy? So let's, it said that if you're stuck at 99.9%, .9%, I believe this is, then resubmit and you might get to 100%. So let's find out. And here's what the diff looks like. It's, it's black. No, uh, and I'm not going to bother <laughs> to, uh, going back. Uh, okay, that's fine. So that's one that didn't work. Or is this about other targets that are... How about this one? This one I'm stuck at, also stuck. Yeah, 99.9. I'll try this one too. And it's resubmit. See if that increases my score. Nah, I guess not. So let's go back to the daily target. This is still a win. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, uh, thanks for watching.